David, a difficult second half for your team out there today. Just give us your assessment of the game. Um, listen, difficult second half because we're in front and then we don't win a game. So probably difficult from that perspective. But the second half, in some way, mirrored what the first half looked like a little bit. Um, and in the first half, we, we, we got goals from counter attacks. And we wanted to, or we thought we could hurt them with, with Tanto and Louis' pace. Um, Again, if you take them opportunities, it's a, it's, a, it's a different story. But what you've got to do if you do set up the way we did, and it's different for us in terms of how, how we normally would go about things, but we felt it was, like I said, an opportunity today. And that proved the right in the fact that we've scored two goals and probably should have scored four. Um, but on the flip side of that, what you need to be doing is you need to concentrate and do your job because they're, they're pretty random in terms of how they go about things. So, again, a back four, um, a holding midfield player, and then the rest is pretty pretty rotational in terms of positions they take up on the pitch. So it is very grey, um, and you need to be able to communicate and concentrate and be comfortable defending in those areas and know that if you do pick the ball up, one pass potentially puts a Tanto 1v1 or puts a Louis 1v1 or the pair of them 2v2 against their centre-backs, which um, was a real source of... Uh, source of joy for us if you don't do your jobs then you have no chance and we've switched off Ben's made two really good well Ben's made a good save a really good save ball's gone off for a corner we've then not done our jobs from the corner and he's made another save so you get another warning we're not, then not doing our job for the third time and another deflection ends up with the ball in our net so again I won't say not ideal not acceptable by any any way stretch or form um, so until that improves, then we're going to be we're going to be in trouble. And then the third goal, again, is 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 us potentially Louis looking to play Ryan Rydell through a ball cleared that we deal with a second ball cleared. Fraser horrific header that ends up one v one, and we do lots. And we did it yesterday. What's a lots of one v one, two v two, three v three stuff? Where if you're one v one, you're defending against a small goal. You've got to be go be aggressive against the ball. We don't get to the ball quick enough. We show a lad on his favoured foot, his right foot, and he passes it in the corner. Um, and as I said, with the corner, that's not acceptable and needs to improve. Similar, there are similarities to kind of the start of last season in terms of the goals that you are giving away. You managed to eradicate that going forward around 10 games in how do you how do you eradicate it this time what what needs to be done to, to change that you work you work harder so again uh, I'm not going to leave any stone unturned so I'll be let me get clear with what I've said to the players they should enjoy seeing the families tomorrow because until we get that right there will not be another another day off because I say if they were doing things that we don't work on or things are happening that we don't work on and things are happening that we can take it responsibility for no problem at all. We, we have a set of values that they were chosen by them and they need to start living it and hold people accountable. But it's always on, I suppose, us as a staff that are um, the big meanies when they don't get the days off. Well, earn your, earn your days off, concentrate, make, make that last bit, be it you almost weather the storm a little bit the last 20 minutes of game when you have worked hard. Well, when you've worked hard, you then need to do the concentration bit. And if your mate's not doing it, make because again you get a warning. If your mate's not doing it, make sure he's doing it for the second, the second part of it. We don't. It's just, it's just, it's just accepted. It's just too, too nice. Um, and nice becomes okay if you're getting results, because you can paper over it. Well, it doesn't when you're not winning, winning football matches and you're conceding the goals we're conceding, and that'll stop. Frustrating as well, because there were there were a lot of positives to take from your first half performance in particular. Yeah, absolutely. We, listen, we, we, we set, like I said, we set up in a way where we thought we caused them problems. We caused them, caused them problems. Um, games are, are about moments. Louis did, did done brilliantly on a, on a different day. Could could go on with a match ball and have, have three or four goals. Has an opportunity, an open goal with just on the stroke of our time. Um, misses the target. Then goes through one v one with a keeper. In a, like I say, one of them transitional moments. We need to look at where Tanto is because that, again, that should be a goal. It shouldn't. It shouldn't take away from the fact that it says, oh, they missed then, that's cost us, cost us a game. But we have to take them moments because 3-1 becomes a different game and they become more uh, more frantic in terms of body they, bodies they send forward and bodies they leave back, which again leaves that opportunity for them to work in a 2v2 scenario or a, or a 1v1 scenario, which is which you'd want again, with them against their centre-backs. Um, so, yes, there'd be things you take from all games. 
fundamentally this is about, about results um, and it's easy to say performances are this, that and the other. Yeah, fine, there are bits of the performances that we'll analyse and we'll pat them on the back for. Fundamentally, there's obviously worse bits that need analysing, that need pointing out, because ultimately that's cost us a cost us a game, and once again we go away with no points. Paddy Madden's played in a, a slightly different role today, one of the, the midfield three, really. Is that because of the injuries you've got? Is it a role that you, you could see him play going forward? No, it, listen, of course it's because of the injuries you've got. That's not a... Um, <laughs> We could have played somebody else there, but ultimately, I think when you you come to places like this, you want your most experienced players on the on the pitch. And even then, in transition, in the in, in the first half, we could have kept Paddy in a position where Ibby and Ethan could have dealt with the runners forward, which they could have at times. Within one pass to, through to Paddy, all, all of a sudden, Paddy picks up the uh, the ball and can potentially set uh, set Tanto and, and Louis free. Listen, it's a different position and he's tired in terms of the work that he has to do because it's different for him, but we wanted him to go and do a, and do a job for us and, and, and I he'll always do that in terms of the role, the role that he plays. Ideally, do I want Paddy Madden playing as one of the midfield three? No, I don't, um, but we're a little bit needs must at the moment. And obviously, transfer deadline day coming up. And I know we ask this question a lot, but can you can you see anyone else coming in before then, particularly with the centre-half centre no, issue? Listen, there'll definitely be people coming in. Um, how many might be dependent on if people people going out, um, but there'll certainly be a couple of bodies coming in. Um, I hope there'll be more than a couple, but again, that will de be dependent on, on other things. Um, but we've also we've got five, six days to make sure um, we're strong enough <coughs> and well enough equipped to get ourselves to, to January with a squad that can compete and, and get ourselves at the table. I know after a defeat you usually like to have a, a Tuesday night game straight after to, to get it out of your system almost, but with the injuries you've got at the minute, is it is a week break potentially a, a positive now in terms of recuperating a little bit and getting players back for Crawley? It'll get players back for, for Crawley, but listen, we've got we've got so much to work on to look at recuperating, so if anyone thinks we'll be having a, a week where we're enjoying ourselves and, and recovering, we'll recover tomorrow, like I say, and then we're at it Monday, we've got work to do and, and we've got to get better and, and until we start doing that as a, as a group and that's everybody in it, then we'll keep working and we'll work every single day till we get it right. Appreciate your time Dave, thank Welcome. you. Welcome, cheers, thank you.